Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Hand Printed, and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to use heat stamps. Heat stamps are a foam block that looks like this. You can buy them at handprinted.co.uk in singles like this or in packs of eight. And they are a block that enables you to make your own stamp designs just from using found objects. So there's no carving involved at all. And what's more is they are reusable. So once you've used a design, you can uh, get it smooth again to use another one. This one's been used several times already. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat up the surface of our block. You can use a heat gun. Ideally, you use a heat gun. But you can also use a hairdryer. Um, it's not quite as effective, but it still works. You can use a hairdryer in a hot setting. Press it into an object or a texture or whatever design you want to appear on your block. And then you can stamp with it. When you're finished, you just reheat the surface and it'll go smooth again. Now, it's really interesting to do this with found objects like paper clips and keys and safety pins and all kinds of things like that. Um, but you can also press into different textures like bark or um, if you've got a raised wood grain, something like that works really well. I've also done it with lino blocks. So lino blocks that you've already carved, you can press into them with one of these and you can get a negative of your lino block and use part of that design. So for example, this block here, I've got all these little um, tulip shapes cut out. I can press my block into here and get that pattern in reverse on my stamp. So there's all kinds of things that you can do with it. And you can use them to print onto fabric or paper. They're great because of the size, they're really good for card making, things like that. Or if you're doing fabric for quilting or something and you want some unique designs, they're really easy to use. So I'm gonna show you how to prep one of these blocks and print with it. So before you go about heating your block, you want to get your objects ready so that you're are ready to stamp into it as soon as the surface is hot. I'm going to use a little collection of safety pins and pins and paper clips and things I've got here just to get an interesting shape. Um, I'm going to do it on this board so that I know where to fill in my design, but you can just do it on a piece of paper or a surface as long as you know how big the stamp is and, and know that it's going to fit in that space. So I know that on this board it's going to be four by three squares, so I just need to fill in a little space with all my objects here. Um, it's best to use hard objects if you can, because they're gonna push into the block um, better. So now all I have to do is prep my block by heating it. I'm gonna be using a heat gun. It's the most effective tool um, that we have found for using this, but you can use a hairdryer on a hot setting too, but I'm gonna start off by using my heat gun. And I'm gonna heat it up for probably around 30 seconds. You want the surface to be pretty hot. Um, mind your fingers, try and just do, get your other hand out of the way. And don't go too close or hold it for too long because what can happen is the surface can start to go darker and melt and that changes the texture. We wanna heat it up, but we don't wanna melt it. And then immediately, Press that block heated side down onto your objects. And you need to press quite firmly. I like to hold it until it's gone cool. I think that gets the best impression. And then lift it up to reveal your impression. You see I've got the detail of all the pins in here, the little pin heads, safety pins, paper clips, and those T-shaped pins as well. So there's some really nice definition in there. Then we can just really easily ink it up. Um, you can ink it up with a roller and ink if you want to. I like to use these Versacraft ink pads. You can use them on um, fabric, paper, and all sorts of different surfaces. And they're just really fast. It's one of the nice things about these heat stamps is just how quick they are. So it's nice to have a printing method that's super speedy too. So ink that up, you can see where my um, dented surfaces are now. And then I've just got some fabric here and just use it like you would any other stamp. And there's my printed design. You can clean up your block just by using a cloth. Just use a wet cloth to remove any excess ink. And then removing the design is just as easy as putting it in. I can do loads of prints with this. This is gonna stay in there. In fact, I've got some heat stamps over in one of our boxes in the studio that has been had an impression in it for 
probably years and that is still um still there so if you want to keep using it over and over again you can if you want to get rid of it you just use your heat gun again again remember not to go too close or hold for too long in one spot but now i've got a smooth block again ready for a new impression now you can also use a hairdryer if you want. You want one that does a nice hot setting. Um, and I'm going to heat this up for about a minute because um, a hairdryer isn't as hot as a heat gun. So you can see that I've got the impression here. I just used a few um, carved stamps. These are all made from MasterCut. You could use a piece of lino if you want. Um, if I'm doing lino stamps, I like to make sure that they're all the same height. Just helps get a more even impression. They're not quite as defined as when I use my heat gun, but they're still definitely there. So I'm going to print this and see what it looks like. So I've definitely got those shapes in there. It's a little pale. I could have done with a bit more black ink on my block, but that will do for this one. And one of the reasons I like to use carved stamps is then you can use your stamps to have a kind of positive and negative. Now your stamps aren't going to exactly fit onto into the spaces that they've made because they'll be the other way around, but it's nice to use them in conjunction with one another. So it's as easy as that. Get yourself a couple of heat stamps. Um, we have them on the hand printed website in singles or packs of eight. Use a heat gun if you have one or a hairdryer. This is a great project to do with kids. If you do the heating up, then they can put the blocks in to get the impression and do the printing, or you can prep the blocks for them. It's a really great project where you can get instant designs just using the objects you have around you. Happy printing.